New York City is full of landmarks and one is being reprogrammed to bring awareness to climate change. Previously, Union Square's famed 15-digit clock displayed the current time on the left side and the time left remaining in the day on the right. Now, the clock, which stretches 62 feet, will count down the amount of time left to take action and prevent the effects of global warming from becoming irreversible. You know, we, we think it's fun or because we simply want to do it. We're doing it because the best scientists in the world have all unanimously said to us with increasing amounts of evidence that we only have so much time left, a small window within which to make decisions that will avoid the worst consequences of the climate crisis. We're very hopeful, but, but scientists are warning us. I mean, this is where this is urgent. And, and yes, the world has to deal with Ukraine and the world has to deal with inflation. But we also have to deal with an existential crisis, which is the climate crisis. And Mother Nature could not be more clear to everybody about the dangers. Be very well-respected scientists warned us a week or two ago that we may have reached five tipping points. We may be past them, we may not, we don't know. But the Arctic, the Antarctic, the permafrost, the coral reefs, and the Barents Sea. That could have, I mean, that does have absolutely dramatic, life-threatening implications if we don't deal with it. Rapidly. And the administration, as you know well, has made this issue a priority. The Inflation Reduction mm -hmm. Act included $369 billion toward climate renewable <laughs> energy programs. For people watching out there, that's a huge number. What does it mean practically, though? How do things Well, in change? practical terms, President Biden succeeded in achieving uh, a, a extraordinarily important piece of legislation which has implications way beyond just the United States. Hey guys, only got one minute to record this because, I don't know, looks like the light stopped up. But anyways, just look at this. This is gonna be like one minute of footage. You can tell this is Akron, it's written right there. And look how many cars and buses just in this, like, one span of minute, some random time, okay? So we're supposed to reverse engineer everything you see in the frame here, okay? Do you think it can be done? That's the question. Can we flip all of this inside out? This is literally just some random corner, by the way. Like this, I don't know, is that white pond? Okay, only got another minute. Just look at this. Envy, awe, the awe of what we've created. Okay. Words don't even, I don't even need words. Okay. This has only been one minute and like 30 seconds. Yeah. Tell me, does any of this make any fucking sense? All of these people that just passed like flush millions of toilets, okay? <clears throat> well look, I just wanted to drive home the point that if you think this is going for the better, you think uh, we can go green, Green New Deal, all this, you are seriously mentally troubled. <laughs> mm -mm. No, and I know it looks like this in other countries. It looks like this where you live too, right? This is just some random bridge for two minutes and 30 seconds and tell me how many people oh, there's a petroleum tank tell me how, how many people passed in the vision in your vision <clears throat> and look meat and eating and all that shit industrial agriculture all of it you're supposed to flip it all inside out yeah okay looks like i'm getting a little a little tight here i gotta go all right guys same old corner you know Evening. Just another random evening. This corner. 
Yep, we gotta reverse engineer everything backwards. Everything you see in front of you backwards. My subscribers know it. Doomed, Antonio. Doomed, Antonio Guterres. Doomed, President Biden. We won't make it. Have a good evening.